Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS and Fall Guys. And also I will talk about how to unlock your FPS because they have like some kind of small bug right now. And I will explain you if you have like an high refresh rate screen how to get your uh, high FPS. So first of all, let's start with Windows. Write game mode in Windows. Make sure that your game mode is at off, really important. It's causing stuttering in a lot of games, so you want to make sure that this one is at off. You want to make sure that your Xbox game bar is at off. And also, you want to make sure all those capture stuff, background recording and recorded audio are at off. Uh, really important. Also, I want to mention, don't use any overlay. If you're struggling, you have a laptop with an integrated video card, and I don't know, your laptop is six years old, uh, remove like those Discord overlay, Nvidia overlay, whatever overlay that you're currently using. Uh, I have to tell, like, I'm doing this guide. It's not for even mid-range computer because the game is really easy to run it's more like with people for with old computer and like a an entry level laptop without the dedicated gpu so this is pretty much for you guys the other thing if you have the latest version of windows so windows 10 version 2004 and you have the latest driver from nvidia write gpu here in your search bar Open the graphics setting and make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. You will need to restart your computer if it was not. And uh, if you want more detail about it, what it's doing and what kind of uh, performance improvement that you can get with this, I have another video in my uh, YouTube channel that explaining everything. So that's good for the GPU. Another thing really important, make sure that you uh, do your update driver. Uh, if you have AMD, NVIDIA, or even Intel, really important. If you have an integrated video card from Intel, you have driver that you can download on their website. Make sure that you have the latest one. Don't just like trust the update driver from Windows. You will have like an old driver for that. So go on the website, download it. If you have a GPU from NVIDIA, you can open the control panel. I have another dedicated video about the control panel, like how to optimize your video card. Here, it will be very quickly, honestly, for Fall Guys. Uh, me, I'm running the low latency mode, really important at on, but really important. Uh, you will have less like input lag. So this is a cool fe feature and it will not impact your uh, FPS if you have it, if you can run it. And the other thing is the power management mode. Make sure that you use the maximum performance over there, really important. And after that, you apply and you click X. One more thing, this game is currently running in DirectX 11, so we can do an optimization here. So right click on it, properties, local file, browse local file, and go on the EXE, right click on it, properties again, go to compatibility, make sure that you're using the disable full screen optimization, go in the change IDPI setting, and make sure override IDPI scaling is checked. Right now, as I, uh, I just said that uh, the game is running in DirectX 11, you can use some kind of like command to boot it in DirectX 12. It's working, but the game will like, you will see some crazy glitch, <laughs> etc. So I feel like they're gonna release the DirectX 12 version like soon, but right now it's not working. So now let's go inside of the game for the graphic parameter. Now inside of the game, uh, first of all, the resolution. For sure, if you can't run 1080p, just go with 780p. Uh, so just lower your resolution over there and go to 720p. Make sure that you're not using the window one. So we want to play full screen. And for the VSync, normally I always say put your VSync at off and just limit your FPS with whatever NVIDIA software or even the graphic parameter inside of the, of the game. But in this game, to get your high FPS, you need to uh, put your VSync at on. So for example, me, I have a 144 Hertz screen. If I put VSync at off, it will lock my FPS at 60. If I put the VSync at on, my FPS will be at 144. So that's a bit weird. Uh, probably they're gonna fix it, but right now if you, you have a high refresh rate monitor and you want high FPS, put your VSync at on. Uh, texture detail. Honestly, if you have less than one gig of VRAM, go with half resolution, but you should be fine with the full resolution over there if you have more than one gig of VRAM. Shadow detail. This one, put this one at low. It's really important. Uh, if I compare high to low, you can get 8% in your FPS. So it's a pretty nice boost over there. So put this one at low. This is pretty much the this one and the um, 
screen space reflection will give you uh, a lot of FPS. Motion blur, you can put this one at off. You don't want to run motion blur. Um, bloom, it, uh, put this one at off. It will give you like something like two FPS. So not a huge deal over there, but you can put this one at off. Depth of field, I don't like this effect. So I'm putting it off. Uh, so you can read about it if you want, but in any like competitive game, even if it's a party game, you don't use depth of field. It's, it's a feature that I feel like they created for console player. So uh, put this one at off. Ambient inclusion. This one is really important. MSV versus none. You can gain 6% over there. So just put this one at uh, none. Anti-aliasing. This one also can give you a lot of FPS. If you I compare SMAA with none, you can get 9%. But honestly, anti, without any anti-aliasing, I'm not a big fan of, of it. Like if all the lines are breaking around like object and uh, the, everything in the game. Um... I feel like you should use FXA. You will lose 3% in your FPS, but still uh, you will have some like FXAA until easy. Anisotropic filtering, put this one at on. And screen space, screen space reflection, this one, huge deal. Ultra versus none, another 8%. So put this one at none. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.